More than half a century ago, Russia introduced mankind to the path of space. The first steps really came in threes. The first cosmonaut of the planet, Yuri Gagarin, the first female cosmonaut, Valentina Tereshkova, and the first spacewalk ever made by Alexei Leonov. In 2011, the United Nations General Assembly named the 12th of April the International Day of Human Spaceflight. Today, almost one half of all launches are performed in Russia. Russia deals with sending cosmonauts and astronauts up to the ISS. The International Space Station is the human outpost in near-Earth orbit. It is the biggest space object the size of a football field ever built by humans. Roscosmos, along with other leading space agencies, have the prime goal of supporting and developing the orbital station while moving forward to outer space. Roscosmos has a decades-long plan on the agenda of exploring space. The space missions of the 21st century in Russia will start in the Far East in the Amur region. The Taiga will see a city and a modern spaceport, Vostochny, being built. There are plans for four launching pads, hotels, railway station, and an airport. The Vostochny Cosmodrome is expected to confirm the high space status and leading positions of Russia in the given area. After quite a break, Russian science is in orbit again. The Spectre-R telescope is the first Russian automatic device aimed at exploring the galaxy. It is supposed to expose the eternal question of life. How were humans and Earth created? Firstly, we are planning to launch the Spectre in the X-ray range, and secondly, in the ultraviolet range, to study these questions. Now, we are working on the device's appearance that is supposed to be launched later in the millimeter radio waves. The Soyuz is the safest middle-class carrier rocket in the world, that now has a new home port the Kourou Cosmodrome in French Guinea. It adds a point to the Soyuz's launching map. The year 2011 saw the launch of the first Soyuz with two European satellite navigation systems, Galileo, on board. All the launches are held under the agreement of both Russia and France. In the coming 15 years, there will be no less than 50 Soyuz spacecrafts launched from the Kourou Cosmodrome. There is a space nuclear energy unit of higher power being created for the future ships in Russia. The new engine will significantly increase the speed of our spacecraft. Space is a part of every Russian citizen's life. The satellites Resurs DK-1, Electro-L, Meteor-3M, help monitor fires, floods, earthquakes, and inform about natural disasters. In the 21st century, Russia is planning to explore the Northern Territories. The North Pole plays a major role in shaping the world's climate. The new satellite unit, Arctica, will be monitoring the whole weather picture there. The first weather satellite will go into orbit in 2015. The GLONASS satellites are laying a path for humanity. Now the navigation system is working to its limits. Russia is ready to provide the whole world with the navigation signal, especially when borders don't matter. It is possible that in the year 2036, Earth will meet with a giant asteroid called Apophis. Russian constructors have elaborated a plan of sending a radio beacon towards Apophis. 
It might be installed on the body's surface or launched in the asteroid's orbit. Only then, the movement of this celestial body will be under control. Nowadays, in Moscow, there is an expert anti-cosmic threat group created under the supervision of the Academy of Sciences Council. Also, collaboration with the United Nations grew successfully to be continued nowadays, just like the International Astronomical Union. The space experience of Russia today is highly significant to the whole world community. You're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. Okay, you got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the window. Are you getting a TV picture now? Yeah.